Okay, so in the last video, I wanted to introduce you to the kit. What I told you at the end of the last video was that the next video, meaning this one, when I showed you guys, we'll have, we would have decided on the building of the ship as well as the lighting. So I decided what we're going to do is we're actually going to go with the production version of the ship. There are a couple of reasons why that I'll go over in the plans with you. Uh, we're going to do the USS Nimoy and we're going to do it in the production version. Now we are going to do differences to make it special and I'll get into that in a minute. But for the final design of the ship itself, it will be the production version of the Enterprise. Now let me show you guys. When it came to making that decision, there are just so many factors. <clears throat> I love the early um, pilot versions, the oversized deflector dish, I love that. I love the antenna coming out of the Bessard collectors as well as I love the uh, the hyper extended bridge um, nice and high it's got charm all its own again even with the markings that would be on the top and on the bottom of the edge of the saucer section so there was that to just to um, to contemplate the only thing that I didn't love about the pilot versions was that although I love the antenna the bizarre collectors are not lit they're solid and I just one of the things to me that makes the Constitution Starship so beautiful is the Bessard collectors so I really wanted to light it moving over I really thought about doing the ISS Nimoy I thought that would be great I love the kind of sinister enterprise you get the the daggers through the planet and you get the Empire and then I was thinking, again, I want to light the nacelles, and the ISS Enterprise has the antenna coming out of the Bessard collectors. The Bessard collectors are not lit. And again, moving on, I thought about a design where I could light the Bessard collectors and still use the antenna. And I would have used it in the, the Terran ship in the alternate universe but after doing a few tests I, j I just didn't think it would look right so having the antenna coming out of it lit although it would be cool if it was in an episode it just didn't look right then I contemplated using the lit Bessard collectors with the antenna on the production version of the ship then I started to think it's just I don't want to mismatch everything Originally, I love the four designs, the first two pilot episodes, the production series, as well as the ISS Enterprise. And I wanted to combine everything into a ship. And then I thought about it. it. That would be cool at first. The thought of doing that would be really cool. But then I thought, well, you know what? This really going to just kind of mess everything up and it just wouldn't look right. It, it just wouldn't look right. It would look like there was a bunch of mistakes on the Enterprise, and I didn't want that to happen. I want the USS Nimoy to be unique. So we're going to go with the production version. And that's going to be the regular size deflector dish. We're going to have the beacons, the navigation beacons in the centers of the side of the primary hull. We're going to have the lit Bessard collectors. We're going to have the lit observation deck over the shuttle bay. We're going to have the sensors on either side at the aft end of the ship. We're going to have the normal size bridge. Um, and again, with the navigation beacons. And there's going to be a few other goodies that I want to do. But for the basic design of the ship, we're going to go with the production series. And again, these are the decal instructions for the decal placement in that model kit. But we're probably not going to use any of these because I have a special decal set that I'll be showing you guys in the next video on what we're going to do to make the ship. Okay, so we got the design all set and ready to go. 
I explained to you my reasons for coming to the production version of the ship. So let's go over now and we're going to talk about lighting her up. When it comes to lighting her up, I've got a few ideas. And again, I want to make her special and unique. So again, I came up, I scribbled down a plan, and this is going to be for the lighting. We're going to have the usual. We're going to light the bridge. We're going to light the sensor dome. Um, I'm going to light the bassard collectors. We're going to be doing the navigation beacons. We're going to light the observation deck as well as the sensors on either side at the aft end of the ship. I want to also uh, light up the impulse engines. And what I want to do, I want to do the end caps and the cells. Because I still think there are some of the episodes where you look and they, they look like they want to be lit up so bad. So we're going to light the ends, the little ball sections coming out of the ends and in the cells. Um, also, I'm going to light the little, the little circles. Let's see, that would be at um, 4 and 6 o'clock if you're looking at the primary hull. Um, they have these little, there's three dots on either side and they're clear white and they're lit up. Um, the only, I think, the only model kit where we got them lit is actually on the 1350, the 50th anniversary Enterprise. I do have them lit on there. But I'm gonna light them on the USS Nimoy. So those will be lit as well. Okay, I think that's everything, all the basics. Um, from the navigation beacons to the Bassard collectors, to the sensor arrays, both after the ship and at the bottom of the primary hull. So let me let me explain to you guys my what I'm thinking and how I'm going to make this special. This is the USS Nimoy, NCC-1931. It's my creation in honor of Leonard Nimoy. So what I'm going to do to make this Constitution class starship special is I'm going to light her the way a refit would be lit. So when you're looking at the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 after she's been refit, you have the spectacular lighting of the ship from the nacelle pylons to the, the, the saucer pylon to the bottom of the registry markings the tops she's just gorgeous she's all lit up well that's my plan to do this for the USS Nimoy so what's going to make her stand out from other Constitution class starships is I'm going to make her lit up just like the refit is lit up so let's start the midship so you remember the Enterprise refit has these beautiful lit nacelle pylons. Um, we're going to do that with the nacelle pylons on the USS Nimoy. I'm actually going to light them. I'm going to use the tiny SMDs and it should be just enough to throw enough light and just make it noticeable. In addition to the nacelle pylons, I'm also going to do it on either side of the saucer pylon. And yes, this is called the saucer pylon. And I think that would look really nice because I thought about going in and drilling, but we're going to be doing this in one 1,000 scale. And I don't want to weaken the plastic in the areas. So instead of drilling it out a bunch of times, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to actually illuminate the outside from the bottom looking up of the nacelle of the saucer pylon. I think that'll look nice. Again, we're going to use the SMDs. It'll be ever so subtle, but I think it'll be a nice, a nice touch, especially in the total darkness where she gets illuminated. Okay, we're going to do the insides and the outsides, by the way, of the cell pylons, just like in the refit. So we would have the inside as well lit up on the pylons for the nacelles and either side of the saucer pylon. Okay. When it comes to the USS Nimoy, I thought about doing a couple things. I thought about doing the NCC-1931, uh, 
on the bottom of the primary hull and then illuminating it just like the refit has. I might do that or we may illuminate the registry markings going on either side of the sensor dome. You know how it kind of comes out on either side because until she's refit she doesn't have registry markings on the front that are illuminated. So I was thinking of lighting up the registry markings on either side of the sensor dome. We could do that or we can do NCC 1931 and illuminate the bottom just the way a refit would look. I may do that. I may do that. I'm not sure 100% yet. So that's a possibility. But when it comes to illuminating the registry, one thing I know we will do, the plan, is to light the top as well. So we're going to make the SMD come right from a little a little seam where it joins C deck to the primary hull and we're going to have the illuminating um, effect on the USS Nimoy NCC-1931. So I think that's going to be nice. So I want to take the, the beauty of the refit and put it onto a Constitution class starship that has not yet been refit to make it a little more special just so it stands out and it'll look great with the black background of space so again I didn't want to make it into the refit that's not what I'm trying to do because this is not ha has not been refit yet but because it's a memorial to Leonard Nimoy I want to light it up the way the refit would appear everything would be emphasized from the registry markings on the top near the bridge to the saucer pylon to the nacelle pylons to the registries underneath or in front like I said that's the jury is still out on that but that in addition to all of the navigation beacons and we're gonna get the uh, the little board from Tenna controls and I'll show you that when it comes in so basically that is the lighting plan so she's going to be lit all over the place, just like the refit is, but she's still going to be the, the pre-refit Constitution class starship. And if she comes out looking half as good as she does in my mind, <laughs> she's going to be gorgeous. So that being said, my friend, I wanted to go over the plans and what we were going to do to build her. So she will be the production series. And you could tell by my horrible drawings <laughs> well maybe you can't but this is the production series version and we got the uh, the series version of the ship all set as the uh, the lighting sections so everywhere I want to light up we put a little emphasis on and this is a 1 1000 scale model so these are going to be SMDs it's going to be really small except when it comes to the Bassard collectors I've got a couple of ideas um, for that but that is the lighting plan. And this is the design plan. So we're going to go with the production version. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I came to make the decisions on how she's going to be lit and how she's going to look. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys the decal set that we're going to use to make the USS Nimoy. So my friends, until that video, Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.